Number 16. Technetium-99 is prepared from molybdenum-98, and this molybdenum-98 combines with the neutron to give molybdenum-99, which is an unstable isotope, which then emits a beta particle to yield an excited form of technetium-99, which can be represented by this TC-99 star. Now, this excited nucleus relaxes to the ground state represented by TC99 by emitting a gamma ray, and then this ground state of TC technetium 99 then emits a beta particle. Oh my gosh. Write the equations for each of these nuclear reactions. Fun. All right, so let's uh, pull up a chair here, right? Get some drink of choice, right? Coffee, tea, fruit punch, apple juice. Um, I love me some coffee, right? Sugar and milk. Thank you very much. Half and half, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is one's going to be a ride. So now for this question, we have to write all of the equations for each of these nuclear reactions. And if we are writing nuclear reactions, we have to write it in nucleide notation. So Let's start off with, I guess, step one. We'll do every step in the middle here, and then maybe I'll move it, you know, somewhere that, that it needs to go to. Now, when we're dealing with uh, nuclear reactions, nuclei notation, we have to worry about these three boxes right here. Now, the big blue box is for our element. The top number is always going to be the bigger number, the atomic mass, and the bottom number is always going to be the atomic number. So, let's give it a shot. Now, the first sentence just tells us the general idea of where we're supposed to be going. At the end of the day, we have to make technetium-99, and we have to prepare it from uh, molybdenum-98. But now, here comes the first part. The first part it says that we take that molybdenum-98, and we combine it with a neutron to give molybdenum-99. And then they go on to talking about that, hey, it's unstable. Okay. So, molybdenum, we have to find that element on the periodic table. Can you spot it? I spot it. It's right here. Molybdenum, which is MOMO, M-M, or M-O, right? And that's the element, so I'm going to put capital M-O. And they're telling us that we're starting off with molybdenum 98. The number that they're always going to give you, that's always going to be the atomic mass. And the atomic mass is always going to be the top number. So, since it's molybdenum 98, I'm just going to put a 98 down here. But now the question is, well, what is the smaller number? This is the atomic number that is always going to be for molybdenum. It's always the um, whole number that is on the periodic table. And each element has its own unique whole number, its own unique atomic number. Now, if we look at molybdenum, its atomic number is 42. So anytime that you're saying that you have molybdenum, that bottom number has to be 42. Okay. Now, this molybdenum, 98, combines, so we know that we're going to be adding... So this molybdenum combines with a neutron. So I know that this plus another nuclide notation, and we know that this has to be the neutron. Well, what is a neutron notation, right? Well, a neutron is lowercase n, lowercase n for neutron. And for particles, right, you put the charges here. If it was a proton, it would be a plus one or a one. If it was an ele electron, it would be a minus one. But for neutron, there's no charge, right? It's neutral, so it's a zero. And now, just know that the top number is always the number of protons and neutrons in a nucleus. If we're just talking about one single neutron, the atomic number would just be one for the one nucleus. And now, let's see. It says that the molyb uh, molybdenum-98 combines with that neutron to give molybdenum-99. So, I got my third notation, and it says molybdenum-99, so we know that it's MO, 
99 is now going to be the new atomic mass. And since it's still molybdium, it still has to have that atomic number of 42. So there you go. Now before we put this off to the side, we just need to make sure that the greens, the top numbers, are the same on opposite sides of the yield sign. Think of this sign as a equal sign. So let's see, 98 plus 1 is 99, and that equals 99. So the tops check out, let's just make sure that the bottoms check out. 42 plus 0 equals 42. So we're good. We did our first step. Let's throw that over here. Now we're going to do step two. Step number two. So we pick it up where we left off. So now it says that this unstable isotope, the isotope that they're talking about is, whoop, the isotope that they're talking about is the MO99, right? So this emits a beta particle to yield that excited form of technetium. So let's go for it. We need a new um, nucleotide notation. It's the MO99, so it's literally the same guy. So I'm just going to write MO99 on the top and then 42 on the bottom. Now in this case, what else do we have? Where well, we're going to emit a beta particle. Okay, so now it's going to emit a beta particle to yield, so to produce an excited form of that technetium 99. Now anytime that you see the word emits, right? Emits means that you're going to be giving off. And if you are emitting anything, it doesn't matter whether it's a beta particle, an alpha particle, a neutron, a proton, whatever it is, if you see that term, you're giving off, and that's going to be part of your products. So it's always these like little words here that we know what's going to be on the left and the right side. Now, it's going to emit that beta particle. So I know that that beta particle has to be on the product side. So let's give the notation for that. Now a beta particle is the same thing as an electron. So beta particle, actually what I'll do is we'll just do it on the top, just like the other one, right? So we'll say that this is going to be the beta particle. And it's up to you whether you want to give the notation as a beta or if you want to give it as an E. It does not matter. They mean identical. So a beta particle is an electron. So um, I guess we'll do B, right? There we go, a beta. And now the charge of an electron is a negative one. So that's why it's a negative one on the bottom. And since electrons are not part of the nucleus, there is no atomic mass. So that's always what the electron is. Negative one on the bottom, zero up on top. And now, let's, let's see here. We just need to add the extra step because we want to form that technetium which is TC star 99. So let's add that one more um, thing in here. Now we're going to say that it's going to be TC and we got to put a star here. Okay. Now they're telling us that the technetium is 99. Those numbers are on the top. And now find out where technetium is on the periodic table to get that atomic number. And it's right next door. So technetium is number 43 all the time. We got an equation. Let's just make sure that it's balanced. 99, let's do the greens on the top first. 99 equals 0 plus 99. So the tops check out. 42 equals negative 1 plus 43. That's 42. So that all checks out. So this is going over here. 
All right, so we got step one and step two done. Let's move on to step three. Where are we going here? Let's see. Step three says that this excited nucleus, so this excited nucleus, they're referring to technetium star, right? So we're just going to basically have the same exact one again. So let's just bring that in TC star with the 99 on the top and a 43 on the bottom. Relaxes to the ground state just represented by TC 99. So I know that it's going to be yielding or relaxing or turning into technetium 99 without the star, so TC, 99 on the top, and remember, if you're calling it still TC, that number is still going to be on the bottom. And here we go with that word again. You're going to be admitting a, this is a gamma ray. That Y is uh, known for gamma. So, if we wanted to write nuclei notation for gamma rays, just know that the Y is the gamma, but this gamma rays are not particles. They have no charge and they're, they don't have a nucleus. So these would both be zeros. Now, do you have to write the zeros here? Absolutely not. You don't even have to write this down. You could just say plus Y because that's the sign for a gamma. But just so that everything is in nuclear notation, there you go. And we see the word admitting again, so it's got to be on the product side. Let's just make sure that all the greens and the yellows, they match on both sides. 99 equals 99 plus 0, so that works. And then 43 equals 43 plus 0, so that works. We are on the final step. Let's see. Step 4. So step 4 says... That ground state technetium 99, so this guy, so I'm just going to, maybe we'll move it up a little bit. Oop, move it up a tad. So I'm just going to recreate that TC 9943. Here we go again with that word, emits, we know where that particle is going to be. Emitting is always in the product side. So we know that we are giving off a particle, and they said that it was a beta particle, so we already did a beta. So you could write an E for an electron, or you could give the B, zero on the top, minus one on the bottom. And then at the final end, right, what are we trying to solve for? Well... Technetium 99, which is what we have here, is prepared from molybdium MO. Now, the thing here is we need to find out what this is. So let's write out that notation and let's see. Remember, the greens on the one side have to equal the total greens on the other side. So let's see. So 99 equals 0 plus, that's got to be a 99. 43 equals negative 1 plus, who would that be? Yeah, 44, right? Because 44 minus 1 is 43. Now, who is 44? we got to look on the periodic table, and it's going to be RU. Ruthenium. <laughs> Ruthenium. <laughs> but it's just RU. And those are your four steps. Four balanced equations. There it is. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all your support. And I hope we're giving you great educational content out there. We got math and physics videos also on the channel. If you guys know anyone or if you're taking those classes, we can help you out there. We also opened up memberships to the channel. Uh, if you want to help us out a little bit more, uh, you can. And in return, we will be posting out tons more stuff uh, for members. And you get cool perks, so you could always check it out. All right? So thank you so, so, so much. And I'll talk to you soon.
Bye-bye.